so today I have another cloth diaper training pants review for you. Today we're going to be talking about the best bottom training pants. So let's hop right in and I'll show you up close the anatomy of this guy. So it doesn't have any side snaps. It's just your traditional pulling up and down a training pants. And inside the diaper here, I'll turn it totally inside out, you have snaps to snap in the inserts to go along with it. So the insert actually attaches to this, but if baby potties in this insert, you can switch it out and reuse this waterproof cover here. So it does have a waterproof lining inside, but the cool thing is that the outside actually feels like cloth. Like it feels very nice and like a traditional pair of underpants would, whereas it still has the waterproof on the inside, which is kind of cool. So you do have some flaps on the front and the back inside to kind of cover up where the little snap goes. It also, you know, should help keep the insert in place a little bit to like put some pressure on the insert to make sure it doesn't like fall up and down on the baby. Or the toddler, I know I'm really bad about calling them baby, <laughs> but we're talking about toddlers here if we're talking about potty training most likely. So yeah, it's pretty basic. You know, you've got the elastic on the top. It doesn't really have elastic on the legs. It just kind of sits there. It's not really very stretchable at all on the leg parts, but the top is totally stretchable, very nice elastic around the waist side. And I happen to have the medium size for my Aaron, who's about uh, probably about 29, 30 pounds right now. So I have a bunch of the bamboo medium size best bottom inserts that I used back mostly when Calvin was kind of a toddler. And so I do have these available to snap inside of this cover, which that's the main reason why I even picked this up so that I could use the inserts I already owned with this cover, with this training pants, you know, shell. So that was the idea anyway. I wanted to be able to reuse inserts that I already owned and not have to buy the extra inserts to go along with this, but I find that especially these, these are the bamboo ones, you can see they're very movable, they're very flexible and you know kind of flimsy. It's kind of difficult to get them to stay upright and stay in place inside of this shell, honestly. If you're pulling it up and down on baby, you know, several times a day, it just makes it kind of difficult because it's so movable. It's not a stiff fabric. It makes it hard to make sure that it's, you know, laying nicely inside of here and staying up on the front and back side because you've got, you know, a couple inches is here before you get to the snap that's securing it upright so especially with little boys where you're worrying about you know the belly side where the pee is going to be concentrated it can be a little bit difficult to make sure that this is up all the way and covering all of toddlers area right so that is one little gripe that I have about this. I don't have the inserts that are that are supposed to be specifically for this training pants set, and I don't know if they're stiff. If they're a little bit stiffer, you might think about using those instead of the more flexible bamboo inserts, which I own, because hopefully the stiffer the fabric is, the better it's going to lay inside of the cover itself. So just so you know, my review is totally based on my experience with it, and my experience is with using inserts that I've already previously owned and used with my boys in their the beginning of their cloth diapering journey. So I don't own the inserts that specifically go with this. So anyway, this guy will cost you $13.95 for just the cover part here. You can also buy a set with three inserts plus the cover for $23.95 on the Nikki's Diapers website. So if your goal is to be able to reuse stuff that you've already previously owned for cloth diapering and you already have best bottom inserts on hand, that's the reason I would think it would be nice to try out the cover here just to be able to reuse the insert. So you're not investing a lot. You're just going to buy a handful of these outside cover parts and then you'll already have the inserts on hand with you. So that would be one economical reason why you would want to pick out this, pick up this particular training pants set. And I do love that it's a nice soft outside fabric. I feel like it kind of makes baby think that, or toddler think that they're wearing more grown up, you know, big boy underpants just because it doesn't feel so, you know, plasticky on the outside part at least. But overall, personally, I prefer a training pants 
set that has the snaps on the outside. If there's a poo situation, you have to like shimmy this down on baby and we all know how dangerous that can be and what a mess it can make when you're trying to shimmy a poo underpants down off of baby's butt. So I would love to have some side snaps on this. That would make it pretty awesome if you ask me. I would also prefer if the legs actually had a little bit of elastic to it. Like they're just so stiff. They're not very, they're not elastic -y at all. I don't even, like it has just the teeny tiniest little give on it. I would prefer it had a little bit more elastic just because I feel like it would be more of a solid, you know, contact with baby's skin so that things aren't going to escape, you know, because if baby like pees a giant pee, if they've got a little bit of a leg gap going on there and there's no elastic to, you know, snug it up next to the leg, you could have some pee leaking out through, right? So I would prefer to have some elastic around the edges and some uh, snaps on the sides, definitely. But overall, I'm just kind of like, whatevs about this guy. I don't think it's anything spectacular. There are some things that I wish it would have that it doesn't, and I just don't think this is the best option. I've tried several different training pants products, and this one is definitely on the lower end of my list. I'm just not a huge fan of this guy. But I will say, if you have been like a diehard Best Bottoms user and you already have Best Bottoms inserts and babies may be really good at pooping on the potty and knowing when it's time to go poo and poo isn't an issue for you, maybe you might invest in some of these covers because you're gonna be able to use your inserts again in them, which would be really nice. And if baby's not having problem with, you know, having to shimmy down the diaper for poop situations, then yeah, if your baby's closer to actually like really potty training, these might be a good option for you if you already have the inserts with you, if you already own them. But overall, I'm just not impressed. I'm just kind of like whatever about this guy here. So that's pretty much all that I have to say about this little guy. I know this is kind of a negative review. I usually don't really dislike diapers that much, but this guy just doesn't really impress me. So if you love it, leave us some comments down below. It's great for people who are actually looking into purchasing this guy to hear from not just me, but all of you guys down in the comments. So if you love using your best bottom trainer set, let me know down in the comments below. It'd be great for other people who are viewing this video. So I will have more cloth diaper training pants reviews to come in the weeks ahead. So stay tuned for that. If you are not already a subscriber, I would totally recommend subscribing to this channel. If you are nearing the potty training stage, it's really nice to see all the different potty training options out there. I've tried several and I'm still working on pumping out reviews for you guys and when I'm done or close to done to reviewing each one individually, I'm gonna put together a video that kind of compares them all and which are my favorites, which are my least favorites and just show you all the different training pants options I have tried so you guys can kind of get a better idea on what may be appealing to you guys. So, so I do hope this was at least a little bit helpful or entertaining for you guys. If you did like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.